In plum style forms, a lookup field has some advanced properties that allow you to adjust the control to make your form more usable. Configure sorting and filtering. Adjust the view of search results. Request additional fields and subfields. Let's start with operator property. The operator property determines how the search is handled within lookup values. It has two options. Starts with and contains. By default, the property is set to starts with. Thus, when searching within lookup values, all the items that start with the enter value are shown. When the property is set to contains, all items that contain the entered value are shown. When add new property is set to true, users can add new values to the source list of the lookup. Start entering a value that does not exist in the source list to see the add new item button. Click on it and the new form opens in a dialog window and the field is populated with the enter value. Note that the new form in the source list should be designed with plum sale forms. By default, only ID and display field are retrieved. In the extra fields property you can specify additional fields that should be loaded from the source list. In the expand property, you need to specify fields which value is stored as an object, like lookup or personal group fields. For instance, I have a list of offices with addresses and managers. On the form, I want to populate fields with the address and the manager name of the selected office. Address is a single line text field, so I enter just its internal name to the extra fields. Manager is a personal group field. As I need the full name of the manager, I enter the internal field name slash title to the extra fields property. And I also need to enter the internal name of the field to the expand property. After that, I can get the address and manager name of the selected office using the code. You can find the code sample in the video description. And this is how it works on the form. You can also customize the appearance of the search results. Let's say I want to display the office name alongside with manager name and address in the search results like this. I already specified the address and manager fields in the extra fields and expand properties. Now I need to customize lookups template. This can be done using JavaScript. Please find the code sample in the video description. You can find more detailed instructions on how to customize lookups template with the image in our documentation. Please find the link in the description. With filtering property, you can create a static or dynamic filtration of lookup values of any complexity. For instance, show only items which title starts with A and number field is greater than 10. For this, I add the code to the JavaScript editor. You can find the code sample in the video description. And this is how it works on the form. You can also set up filtering by any field or create cascading dropdowns with no coding. Please see our previous video. Using the same filtering property, you can modify the search behavior when the user inputs text in the search box. For instance, search within title and description fields. See the code sample in the video description. Using JavaScript, you can order search results by one or multiple fields in descending or ascending order. For instance, let's order the results in ascending order by title. I add the code to the JavaScript editor and set descending property to true. This is how search results are ordered by on the form. Let's try out ordering by two fields. I add the ordering by number field in descending order. I specify the name of the field and set descending property to true. And this is how search results are ordered now. You can try plum sale forms for 30 days for free. Please find more information in the description.